that sense that it's not about me so much, it's about what we and what God is trying to do here and how do I cooperate with that? How do I listen for that? How do I discern where I'm being led? Your struggles and your limitations can be an opportunity both to rely on other people and to rely on God. Talking with Father Burroughs, you feel like it's just you and him and everything else flips away. Gentleness, wisdom, and grace. A genuine person who was there from the start and knew what I could do before I even knew what I could do. He'd rather spend time trying to get to understand a person's position than dictating what the position should be. He is a man that looks at possibilities and how can things be possible. If Father Burroughs has an ego, it's hard to find it. Yeah, you feel like he's in it with you. He talks to you and you feel unique and special and heard. Thank you for everything, Father Burroughs. Thank you, Father Burroughs. Good luck in the future. Thank you, Father Burroughs. Thank, thank you, Father Burroughs. Thank you, Father Burroughs. On behalf of the Holy Cross community, thank you. How fortunate we have been as a Holy Cross community to have Father Burroughs lead the way for the last decade. How often do you find uh, someone who is an educator, a very fine administrator, a very devout priest, and a great leader? He is a person who has the ability to manage an enormous amount of complexity, but in a way that doesn't burden other people. My favorite line from Father Burroughs is, stand to be seen, speak to be heard, and sit down to be appreciated. His quietness, his humility are all things that I hope to embody someday and that I really admire very deeply in him. When you start listening to yourself, you listen for God speaking to you. You listen for the needs of the world to come into you into that quiet and place of discernment so that when you leave, you look at the world around you differently and maybe influences the decisions you make about how you engage that world or serve that world. And it isn't because we have all the answers by any means. It's often because we're, we've, we've been thoughtful enough and hopefully reflective enough to listen carefully to others. Thank you, Father Burroughs. We appreciate everything. Best wishes. Thank you, Father Burroughs. Thank you, Father Burroughs. Thank you so much, Father Burroughs. Thank you, Father Burroughs. My hope for the college is that it will continue to grow and challenge and be challenged by the needs of our world in a way that's inspiring and in a way that calls out that level of generosity and commitment that we've been known for. The conviction and decisiveness that he brought to the role. He lives his life as a Jesuit and it is Ignatian discernment. Understanding that yes, making these decisions is not going to be easy, not everyone's going to like them, but here's why it's the right decision. He, he interrupted the argument and said, well, this is what I think it means to be a Holy Cross Crusader. And he read about three or four sentences which were beautifully crafted, eloquent, powerful, accurate, and the argument was over. I want to wish you the best of luck on your future. Thank you so much, Father Burroughs, for everything you've done for Holy Cross. Thank you, Father Burroughs. Thanks for everything, Father Burroughs. We'll miss you. Thank you, Father Burroughs. I wish you luck in your next adventure. He's worked really hard to make sure that all voices can be heard. He will be remembered for transforming the way Holy Cross operates, the way Holy Cross looks. He's brought a whole new group of diverse students, given those students the ability to come to Holy Cross now where that ability wouldn't have been before. That transforms the college by bringing that kind of diversity onto the campus. It's profound. His tenure will mark one of the most remarkable transformations physically of the campus. Just on the physical plant side, he will have transformed the school more than it had been transformed in the last 50 years. That strategic thinking, it's, it's that big view, it's that high level of ambition for the college, is the hallmark of Father Burroughs. I think his legacy will be one of listening. 
he has helped to sow the seeds for what Holy Cross will be in the future. I think he will go down as among the great presidents of that Holy Cross. Thank you so much, Father Burroughs, for everything you've given to the Holy Cross community. Thank you for everything. Thank you so much, Father Burroughs. Thank you, Father Burroughs. The college won't be the same without you. Tim, we wish you the best for the future. We're gonna miss you a lot. Our students learn here that what they're being given as individuals and as a community is, is for others. They're to be shared, they're not just to be held on to. It's important to be able to accept thanks as well as give thanks. As you bring a very special uh, ability and peace to things because, because of the way you think of other people. The peace and dignity that you brought to your service is an example to us all. To have someone be such a good steward of it as Father Burroughs. It makes me incredibly proud to be associated with this institution. He's shown me that I can do all things in Christ who strengthens me. You have been transformative in all the work you've done for the arts, and I'll be eternally grateful. I want you to know that you're not done. You have much more to do. I wish for him peace. I'm wishing you the best of luck in your future endeavors. A moment of your time has been a blessing. Thank you for your commitment. Thank you for being present. Thank you for being accessible. The gifts you have been given, you have given us as a gift. And I'm grateful. As my dad used to say, that the joy is always in the contribution. Go now, good and faithful servant. Your job is well done. I'm proud of you. And uh, your brothers are proud of you. You are part of our family forever. Gratitude. A lot of gratitude. Thank you, Father Burroughs. We appreciate you. Thank you, Father Burroughs. Thank you, Father Burroughs. Thank you, Father Burroughs. Thank you so much, Father Burroughs. We wish you all the best. I'm moved and impressed by uh, this college and its community and what it does. And I hope to be remembered as someone who enabled that to flourish.